second season. I think it's my second season I had it. I, uh, yeah, it's my second season riding it. I didn't get to ride it that much last year because she was in the shop a lot. But it's a very, very cool bike. Peculiar, whatever you want to say. It's, it was only built for two years, so... Now, here's my dilemma. Parts. If something happens to this bike, man, the parts are hard to find. And when you do find them, oh, Jesus, you're paying a lot for the parts. Do you have that same issue with your motorcycle? Parts for your bike, like like some bikes, they're, they're like, you say the, I would say, let's say the Suzuki GXXR. That bike has been built for, you know, since the 80s and you could get parts like mad same with the Hayabusa another Suzuki bike built forever um, the well M10 now all the uh, M's M109's M07's they've been built for a number of years now but they're basically the FZR's and that so they have lots of Honda I would say the CBR the CBR 600 and uh, the 1000 they, they've been around forever but is your bike unique even the Harley Davidson's like this was made by Harley Davidson back in the day like and my 07 actually had a 1000 Sportster engine in it this one is the VTEC which is not a Harley Davidson engine but it was still built by Harley the bike itself but uh, the engine wasn't but my 07 I had a fire fire Fire, I, man, fire, what was it? It was XBR9 and uh, Firebolt? Yeah, it was the Firebolt. Forgot the name there for a while. And that one actually had a 1000 Sportster engine in. I mean, Sportster engines, yeah. Lots of them, they've been built forever, so I didn't have an issue. But with this VTEC engine, I'm kind of worried a little bit because, uh, heck, there aren't a lot of parts and, uh, like I said, when I do need a part for the bike, whoa, she's uh, she cost me an arm and a leg. So, do you have that same problem? Like, uh, is your bike unique? Is it one of a kind? Is it built for so many years? Leave a comment down below on what you ride, what year. Hey, leave a comment down below. What was your first bike? My first motorcycle that was street legal was a 1984 Honda 500 Interceptor. Actually, when I started this channel, I was already on my second one. So I loved the bike so much, I saw another one and I ended up buying it because my first bike I drove for about six years and then I sold it and then uh, didn't have a bike for a long time and then saw this other one and thought, let's buy the bike. But anyways, once again, guys and girls, if you're new to the channel, thanks for coming out. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. It helps my channel immensely. And I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers, so I would love, I would love to get to a thousand subscribers. That would be a goal that I've always had. And, uh, He wasn't going to wave the mirror for a second because it's not a heart of Davison. It's not a heart of Davison. Well, technically it is if you know your bikes, but... So, hey, do you wave at everyone when they go by? I do. I don't care. We're riding motorcycles. We are a clan. You are in the clan, so I don't care what you ride. The finger will come out and give you a little, uh, how you doing? How you doing? I saw other people do their Jeeps do it and everything like that. I thought that was kind of funny, but motorcycles have been doing it the longest. But anyways, guys and girls, once again, hit the like, hit the subscribe, trying to get to a thousand. Do your thing. Once again, it comes to the time where I say, you're you. I'm me. I love you guys. I'm Moto Steve, and I am out.